uh, performance management. Okay, uh, mm-hmm. what we understand about the performance management is is involved with the business performance. Is is involved on the workers' performance? Okay, so from these particular questions, maybe we can go through the course synopsis. Okay, this course introduced to students to important of an effective performance management system. All right, oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> in helping organization define and achieve long term and short term goals. Okay, basically, in organization we have a lot of planning. One of the planning basically is performance management. Another planning, maybe we can talk about strategic management. And then maybe a few planning on organization, we can talk about the quality management system, QMS. Continue with the TQM, Total Quality Management. So a lot of the Planning basically, eh, tuan tuan and pom pom, eh, alright, a lot of planning, but for the while we focus of performance management, right? Okay, in explain and reinforce the concept, the performance management is not, a uh, one time. Supervisory event is not the one time, eh, alright, but an ongoing process of planning. Facilitating, assessing, and improving. Okay, maybe we can plus with practicing and implementing in our individuals and organizations performance. Right. Okay. Of course, eh, uh, class. Uh, we have a few type of organization. Which is a small organizations, medium organization, and the big organizations. So, all right, from that particular level of organizations, sometimes the anchor between the some sort of the different and also improvement of performance management, right? <coughs> Attentions will be given to the performance man- performance measurements in all business unit, right? Departments, managers, and working groups. Or particular, the important is the is the goals achievement metric, right? Including the leading and the leading indicator. The balance perspective approach and also include, right? Whereby is take into the considerations on the relationship between cognitions, behavior, and result of the various function in organization, right? Okay, so this is the particular to the maybe uh, human resource behavior, right? If you, if you know, human resource is considered a big department that consists a lot of type of the uh, unit, basically. All right. Okay, so then we can see the learning outcome. All right, explain the importance of uh, performance management and detail how organization, organization organizational strategy and translated into the performance standard, All right? <laughs> okay, so in organization, okay, we can derive, we can describe, we can explain, we can build the, the, the framework, okay, in order that we have uh, a good performance management, right? Uh, Sometimes also performance management involved with uh, a lot of the, what we call is the, uh, a lot of the method, eh? a lot of the significance that, uh, for example, strategic management, all right? Um, KPI, all right. 
business development, all these things. Eh? Right. Describe value approach in setting performance standards. Identify method of facilitating performance by linking pay initiative to performance and designing job to enhance employee involvement. Explain how enhancing employee involvement can be contributed to effective performance. All right. And then uh, also don't forget to discuss about the workers. Okay. One of the very important elements in order you to perform your business. Right. How that uh, that element to help you to standardize, to develop, to per, to uh, increase on the performance management. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Rather than that. Okay. I think cost assessment structure we already discussed. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. So we have only 10 topics. Eh? All right. So one uh, webinar, I think we have, uh, we try to have the uh, two topics. Eh? Okay. To be discussed. Lah. Okay. Class we call is like webinar lah. I think you know about the webinar, eh? Ah, uh, okay, right. Okay, and then ah uh, by right, okay, I will update to you also your assessment, right? Uh, SAQ, right? Okay, we go to the sum, right? Okay, uh, SEQ, all right, uh, 10%, all right, uh, term paper and case study, all right, the, the three, three, the first, three, the first assignments that, okay, short, short answer questions, term paper, case study, I will update to you as soon as possible, all right, and then a uh, uh, midterm, I will, I will uh, give you uh, in middles, eh, Maybe I think on the third week, eh, third or fourth week on January, I think and next week also lah, eh. But then, a uh, midterm is um midterm take home, right? So uh, I'm not plan. It, it basically is is uh, basically is depend of the lecture. All right. Okay. Awak Benda kat awak. Okay, kadang-kadang dia ke, apa? Saya lupa nak mute kan? Ha, ah, okay. Alright, tak apa. Biasa kan eh? Alright. Okay. I'm not plan to give the specific time in order you to answer the midterm, right? So the midterm I'm consider as a midterm take home, all right. And then also um you have the period of time to answer, all right, and submit in your rocks, all right. Then a final assessment and okay, I think a last semester. We start with this semester basically. Okay, we uh, Unirasa already run is a final assessment. Eh? Okay, no more final examination. So final assessment I will given to you on the week of the final examination. I think um after our uh, webinar uh webinar six eh. After, if I'm not mistaken, uh, after 12, 12, 12 February, I think, 11 February, I think, uh, last, our last webinar, eh? all right, okay, and then also, uh, maybe I think I give in, uh, I think you have uh, around two weeks to answer, all right, the finals, accessible, all right, all right, so more or less, uh, the question, more on the how you develop, how you uh, opinions on the performance management. Okay, definitely there is not any question on the remember. 
Ah, ha, ha, nak ingat-ingat tu, we don't ah, uh, we not we not provide any more on the uh, remember questions, right? We ah uh, more or less the questions comes to the how you uh, describe based your experience, okay? Because what the the performance management basically that is what I mentioned to you class. Uh, I'm not saying that difference uh organization like a difference performance management method, right? Or, uh, or what we call the method, all right? But sometimes they they have a difference is because of the uh how big and eh? how big the organizations that to run their business basically. Okay, of course, a small company that they can't follow the big process of the performance management. Okay, uh, rather than that also, the big company, of course, can't practice the uh, small uh, small company that uh, using the uh, performance management method. But the basic, the theory is same, right? So, this is about the assessment, right? So, and then, of course, for your information also, uh, no mark for the attendant. But the previous that we, uh, Yuni Razak still, uh, what we call is put attendant, uh, which is have a five mark. But now no more because MQA not uh, uh suggest eh, to give the mark for the attendant. And then for your information also, ODL is not the compulsory you to attend the class. I'm not sure that you, you after the you no more to attend the class, eh? But uh, a, a term of compulsory is like that. Okay, you can also see the recording, eh? Recording teaching in whatever place, whatever time you have uh, your free basically, right? And then of course, class and eh, for information, we are uh, adults learning. So adults you know, is definitely that uh, or not focused to the uh, uh what we call is uh, nor the textbook. Okay. I'm happy that if let's say in your assignment, in your assessment, that you give your opinions, okay, based your experience, all right? That show how that you will be uh, entitled as the ODL student. Open and distant learning student is mostly, okay, hopefully you will be a individual study, basically. All right. Okay, so I think, um, okay. Uh, okay, uh, so I think that's all for the some sort of introduction, maybe some of you are not in the class, okay. Uh, last week that you can have a refresh on some of you. Okay, maybe have a, you can see the refresh huh, on the information. All right. Okay. Okay, class. All right. Okay. Uh, so we go through our introduction about performance management. All right. Okay. So in HR department, normally we have a uh, uh, what we call is a uh, uh, uh and benefits units. All right. Uh, salary. Yeah, and then also, uh, trainings departments. All right. Uh, 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 development and succession planning. Maybe a, 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 a small company put a safety and security under uh, HR. All right. Uh, and then a lot of the units, basically. All right. 
And then uh, for your information class, eh, maybe you have experience, all right? I, I definitely that I, I know that you have experience. Eh? Some of you uh, come from the international company. Some of you work with the uh, other country. Where I have, definitely that I'm very well. Eh? I know that, okay? Okay, all right. But then eh, this is only for the sharing that eh? maybe... Uh, you or me, we can have some things eh, to share based on the performance management because I'm a lecturer. Okay, I'm not really involved with the industry right now. So maybe it's quite outdated that, eh? sorry, it's my knowledge basically. All right, if let's say you have something to throw, please, no problem, right? Because as you know, lah, eh, we are a lecturer. So we're not in the industry. Of course, definitely, definitely in Australia, you have your latest information, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so introduction, the characteristic of the modern business environment. Make, make is a mandatory for organizations to come up with the innovative way of maintaining competitiveness. Yes, right? So from the classical practice, maybe... Now we change to the technology, okay. On the for example, in terms of management, right? So management already use the modern or use the, the latest technology based of the base of the basic theory, right? Okay. Okay, performance management is highly important to such organizations as assist any firm in realizing. Maintaining and enhancing productivity as it's a progress into the future. Yes, okay. Time to time, what is the important you to do the business? Because to make the money, to have the income, finally to get the profit. Okay, all right. So, there is a difference. Lah, eh? Different story if, let's say, we talk about the cooperative, you know, uh, what we call this, uh, club, you know, uh, union, you know, satuan, and the one is a different story. Lah, because uh, this is uh, maybe on, on that, more on the community service involved that. But, the basic all right, on anyone want to plan, want to run this business, okay, to make the profit, right? And this is an effective way of fixing is a sun stability, right? So now we talk about a lot of things, ESG, a lot of things there, all right? All right. The Performance management can be defined as a comprehensive approach to the management and supervisions of employees in a particular work environment to enhance the achievement to set a goal and cat catalyze by a higher degree of participation of managers. Right. So, okay. Performance management. Huh? Uh, so, uh, if you see the word performance management, they not mention that performance the staff. So performance management. Normally we can see that the word strategic management, HR management, quality management system, total quality management, TQM. Okay. So this is involved with the management because management one of the group that very important to develop. To make the company sustain, and then of course to develop the company to expand the business. So of course, performance management help us basically, okay. And then we can follow that because the performance management have a comprehensive approach to the management and supervisor, eh, supervisors. Meaning to say that normally we can consider supervisor and above. Eh? All right. Then normally, excuse me. All right. Um, different company have a different level of position. Right. Sometimes the company using the 
a supervisor, some of the company straightforward using the executive, senior executive, all right, assistant manager, some of company straightforward go to the manager, some of company after assistant manager, okay, they have another position called GPC manager, manager, some of the company senior manager, some of the company using deputy senior manager. So this is how that the company, okay, uh, basically HR run their title of the positions, basically, all right? And then uh, goes to the deputy general manager, assistant general manager, general manager, senior general manager, so on. Okay, some of the company now today, you can saw that they're using the vice president one, vice president two, assistant vice president. It is depend how that your run their position. To me, uh, if you see that, there is not a, a big issue on that particular. But what is important that, okay, in the unit, in the department, they have a proper lineup, okay, direction in order to make to sustain, to perform the unit or department. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, performance management is process. Uh, that is conduct of organization to ensure that they realize the continued improvement performance. Okay. Today's numerous definition of this term exit at such include right. Okay, we can see eh? right. <laughs> the system, the system systemic management or every aspect of the human resource available to the company to promote innovativeness and creativity focus on specific goals, enhance productivity and employee satisfaction. All right? And every form of success from the employee under a specific manager is it it is has it is a continuous process that consists of activities such as planning the management process, managing it conducting review, assessing the potential of to be managed, and appreciating positive performance through the application of positive composition system. Okay, so this is the part of the meaning of performance management, right? So from the works, performance management, huh? so perform. All right, so you can see that perform means that what? Okay, maybe you meet the KPI. Also, maybe your unit or department success. Okay, or maybe your company already developed the new business, expands the branches and so on. Maybe, okay, you have a very good structure. Okay, in order to do the specific work and continuous directly finish to your head of department. So all these things that can be a performance management, right? So, no, but normally they involve with the human resource that they have a concrete framework in order to appreciate the staff until the staff have the uh, what we call is a positive composition system right <clears throat> okay now is a holistic approach to the management and supervision of employee in a particular work environment with the aim of achieving certain goal and it's a characteristic by a high degree of participation of two being Managing performance management, how you are the management lead your team basically. Eh? How you are the head of department, manager of department, okay, manager of unit or whatever lah we call that you have your concrete 
planning. Okay, for the next year. Normally, eh, I think all of you practice on uh, KPI, eh, the performance indicator. Planning for the next year. For example, 2024. You already have the uh, concrete. Okay. On the framework on also planning in order that you to success on 2024. You have already your, um, uh, what we call this, um, <clears throat> KPI on the performance, okay? And then your KPI also based of your strength of your works, okay? Do you need to add your staff basically? Okay. Is this good or not? If let's say you add your staff in order you to evaluate your works. Okay. So that is why sometimes HR need to do the analysis eh, of human resource staff that is it is the match to be the strength of the work compared to the staffing. Okay. If less uh, are the production going to have the, uh, what we call is complete process? Are the staff, uh, what we call is, is, um, what we call is, um, have another extra stuff that, okay? Uh, so not, not, not uh, what we call is, um, uh, match the job descriptions basically. So there is a lot of things that as a head of departments that you need to change. Rather than that also, on top of them also, you, you also need to responsible about the emotionals. All right? About your emotional of the staff. It's not that I say you need to responsible until the problem of the family, uh, family in your staff. Basically, no. But that is how it uh, sometimes comes to the this scenario Okay, we need to also um know okay the problem about the staff because they also all these things that impact to the performance of the work basically. So as a head of department, eh, tuan -tuan -puan -puan, sir madam, uh, a lot of the responsibilities that you need to think. Okay, rather than that, okay, rather than that also. Okay, rather than rather than that also, all right. Uh, we also sometimes look into the budget team. Are are we the best uh, uh manager? If let's say we use the big budget, is only to manage the small work. Are we the best person or best manager? If let's say. We may use the uh, big work, a big project, a big contract, uh, a big uh, work, yeah, a big contract uh, normally using the small uh, strength of work or uh, workers. So this is all, this is all these things that uh, we need to consider basically. All right. So the application number three, the application of specific framework that is a matter of the particular standard of a performance metric in the management of employees at an organizational team on individual level as a way enhancing their productivity, right? <coughs> so as a head of department, okay, we, we, we need to know, okay, uh our frameworks normally framework of department that okay uh, our target all right uh, and then also maybe we can talk about the safety purpose okay uh, and then also um maybe we can talk also about the budgeting so all these things that eh okay if let's say maybe yeah if let's say maybe if let's say you are in that department, eh, head of department on the engineering department, it's not only that you know how to run, how to manage the technical issue, handling for technical staff, 
Okay, study, manage the project, the contract, but at the same time also you need to know also about the, uh, maybe about the finance, all right? Maybe about the human resource, rather than, okay, that company maybe have a uh, itself of human resource, but also we need to know at least uh, heads of, uh, as a head of department. So basically head of department, you need to know a lot of a lot of the what we call is um list of the responsible basically okay <coughs> excuse me okay again it can define as a strategic process okay the aim of ensuring the organization realize sustained improvement in, in performance high making investment in employees to promote their career or pro professional progression since they this have a positive impact on the overall performance of the organization in patient and all right okay so for example okay if let's say uh, your company um uh plan for this year to expand more than 100 branches all right so you are a uh, one of the performance, uh, performance manager, right? Rather than maybe you are uh, 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 someone, uh, it's not uh, directly involved with the this business plan basically. All right, but from this scenario, okay, you we need to look also. Okay, what about the staffing? If there any problem with the staffing, okay, maybe maybe on top of budget, okay, because of the management already decide that to to have to open the branches to plan to open the branches more than hundred. But uh, come to this scenario, okay, we not only have a strong budget, but we also need to study about the uh, human resource, which is that uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, what we call this uh, area that easiest you to find the stuff. If let's say easiest to find the stuff, for example, okay. If let's say like, for example, your company involves facility management, is there any the easiest you to find out the uh skill stuff, for example? Now today we talk about the Tibet. All right, okay. So this is a lot of things that okay. Uh, that we 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 can put as a question in order that because of it's not easy that basically eh? that is why a performance management that we need to have the concrete character in order us to success basically. All right, okay. For type of integrations. All right. <clears throat> Okay, in human resource integrations, is involved the gauge of a various aspect of HR, including all right, HR including the creation of subsystem to promote the managing and monitoring of job tasks, employee development and motivations and designing of the reward system is strategic way to optimize performance yes All right so uh sometime eh uh, sometime yeah um this is definitely we agree if let's say says a marketing uh is a department uh, it is a very important department in order to create the income and profit but please don't forget also on the human resource department because uh, yeah sometimes we not uh we not see how the uh, i'm not saying that we not see sometimes we 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 difficult eh ataupun uh or we are quite difficult to find which angles that human resource uh give the like the sales and marketing department directly give the profit and income but then human resource basically help us in organization how to be structured on the stuff because who's do the works 
this is only involved with two, which is the human and also machine. So machine also fine. Okay, we have maybe the, the machine or, or already have the, the structure system that in order to run and so on. But what about the human? Who send the human basically? Human resource department, right? So human resource department basically very significant to the organization. If you see that, okay, if you see that sometimes, uh, how I can say, yeah, um, um, uh, okay, research and development department. All right, okay, research and development department. Sometimes, uh, uh, I, I can say that a small or medium company, sometimes they don't have any research and development department. Uh, in this is my opinion, sir. Uh, maybe uh, uh sometimes uh, medium company also have lah. Eh? Uh, so this is the what we call it some example lah. But you can see that I consider that uh, uh, a lot of company rather than this is a small company they have their HR department. You can see that okay. Any company that they have uh, their HR department. But maybe if let's say uh, this is a small company, they have the com combination of the department. For example, finance and HR or something like that. Eh? Right. So create a subsystem to promote the management monitoring of job tasks. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, HR. Okay. So that is why if let's say I think you some of you eh, of you some of you work with HR department. You are responsible to recruit the staff. Okay. Of course you have experience. But okay, my salute on the HR staff is they need also have the knowledge on uh what we call this. Outside area of HR, which is what? If let's say you are the recruit of the engineering staff, so you need also know about the particular competency of engineering staff, which is you need to learn. If let's say, eh, for example, competency of engineers, IR, competency engineers, touchmen, and so on. You need to know rather than you are work in HR. Okay, for example, also if let's say you have to recruit for uh, for finance director, all right, you need to know also about the competency of the chartered accountant, MIA, ACCA, CIMA, and so on. Okay, and then the second thing also, HR need to so need to know also about the rules of regulations that in, involved with that particular department. For example, all right, um. For example, okay, I bring up you on the construction side. Okay, if let's say you are uh, uh, what we call is, so, uh, you are the construction project manager, you must be a certified by the CIDB as a certified construction project manager, which is HR need to know what is the process until the staff under that competency certified certificate uh, so all these things that uh, all these things okay so basically that is why uh, it's not easy that as a job starts to the hr uh, they need to know uh, uh, about the competency management monetary job and then also okay hr need to review of job description meaning to say that okay if you like say lah uh, <clears throat> HR need to review on the uh, job description on the procurement department. So at least HR need to know also what is the uh, information or basic about the procurement department. So that is why the function of HR is so big basically. We need to respect of the HR person basically. All right. So employee uh, development, all right, and motivations. Okay, but designs, a reward system, yes, right? Motivations, eh? and then uh, normally uh, we call it is the training and development, you know, All right? Okay, uh, so we need to give a training to staff everything lah in order to maintain their performance. 
Vertical integrations is, is involved the alignment of the goals of various level on organization. It's a realized where the organization is in question is able to interlock into objective from organization to the individual's levels. All right, various levels of organization. This is a vertical integration. Goal integration is involved the attempt by those being managed to strike a balance between the person aspiration and bring and the objective or the goal of the company to work for. So goals integration means that what right. So if let's say okay, you put your ambitions or your target or your objective or whatever lah, eh, you are be a general manager for this department after 10 years. So in equivalent you to be a perform that that your dreams, all right, your objectives that they need also equivalent to the performance of the company, right? Functional integrations entitled purpose for focusing of the strategy and energy in organizations in a single direction to promote the optical fulfill a job task. Therefore, okay, functional integration may be uh, your company is uh, uh, what we call is a uh, uh, specific uh, uh, expertise on the energy management, for example, right? So, of course, you have your skills that to feed their equivalence to the company, right? <coughs> okay. All right. Okay, performance management is essential to any organization since the asset to is the avoid a curing to their costs associated with the poor performance and other problems associated with the failures to engage in the process, such include high employee turnover rate. This part, okay, uh, very, very important. All right. If let's say your company, if let's say you want to join the company, right? If let's say from the from the current company that uh provide you salary six thousand, eh? Normally the concept base of the HR, right? 30, 33% eh? increase maximum. Maybe you can include it, it depends on the HR lah, eh? Right. So you can earn almost uh, eight thousand, the new company, but after you review that company, you see the company have a higher employee turnover rate. All right. So are you willing to work with that company? Maybe you will. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Basically, if let's say uh, the company have a higher employee turnover, you cannot just the company is not good, basically. Yeah. Sometimes you need to study, you need to review where the staff is resigned. Why the staff is resigned? Okay. Now you, you cannot put the blame. I think it's not blame. Right? I, I think you cannot put the this uh problem to that the company, if let's say the company have a higher turnover, yeah, the company have a problem. No, eh? Okay, we need to, to study that. Okay. And then and then maybe and then maybe okay the 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 highest turnover because of the company is run the construction, which is the construction uh have the uh, rather than you are engineer you are project manager in that constructions, but you still need to work with the uh, uh high uh physical work. Okay, uh, which is maybe uh, some of uh, uh, staff or uh, work uh, cannot manage to do the work specifically. We need to review back lah, basically. All right. And then if let's say highest turnover, then we, we need to look back lah, uh, whether you want to join. But this is the things that, okay, if let's say the company have the higher turnover, okay, uh, maybe... The, that uh, the uh, the the HR department need to review back why turnover. That's why one uh you uh have your resignations. Okay, I think you need to uh fill the form exit eh? uh, exit form. Ah, so why 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 um the staff okay. One, they have their resignation, they need to put, they need to fill out the exit form. Because the exit form, normally the questions, 
managed to ask basically why uh, the staff have resignation. So from that, uh, HR department can review and do the analysis. From example, okay, after they will face this January 2024, already 20 staff have their resignation. So the process of resignation until they need to fill out the exit form. So after you uh, receive the 20 exit form, you will see that okay, the concrete of the reason is okay, the staff uh, have the better offer. Okay, better offer. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Better offer. And then the staff, why? Uh, yeah, they, they have a better offer. And then maybe the question asks, uh, uh, the reason, the few reason is they earn the uh, very low uh, salary, for example, compare the work. So maybe I think you know already, right? Okay, as HR, we need to review. If let's say that qualification earn that uh, position for the skill, so we need to study about the uh, Okay. Uh, we need to study. Okay, what is the best? But then, please also. Okay, it's not only that the the what we call is the staff or uh, you want to welcome to the company. You will put supervisor, for example, like eight thousand. Ah, uh, so because of that, you need to study also about your. Uh, income and then uh, your whole contract is it that you can have your salary to pay their 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 their, their salary to the staff ah, so this why we need to do the comparison okay currently currently project run and future project run in your pocket basically all right okay so they have a question prof how the motivate okay the part to attend exit interview after all they are leaving. Okay. Attend exit interview after all they are leaving. <laughs> Very good question. Eh? Okay. So how to motivate. Okay. Uh, after all they are leaving an interview. <laughs> they are leaving. Eh? Okay. <coughs> Basically, eh, Tuan, eh? <clears throat> for the Highest position, I think, for the for the management position, is not issue because of what normally the process of the uh, uh resignations, all right, they're using for the proper process because this is very important. Uh, in future, they want to apply the any position because. The maybe the new company or maybe that uh, the new company that they want to join, of course the company need to they are they are, they are reference from the HR, you know, alright. So they need to use the proper. So I think there is not issue if let's say for the management side to come to have their exit interview. But the problem is for the lower rank. Okay, a lower rank, right? Unless, yes, very good. Eh? Normally, part liver process I could release their last duty. Yes, that's right. Okay, maybe they will do before they are leave. But normally, uh, for the lower rank, ni, memang, uh, it's quite difficult to handle. I'm not saying that because the lower rank is not good. Uh, Sometimes, uh, they were, what we call it, night run. Uh, eh? They just go without any notice, notification or what. So this is a thing lah. Eh? But to me, my suggestion. Eh? 
Okay, so exit policy around it. Okay, at my workplace, macam tak pernah buat. <laughs> so, not exit existing policy. <laughs> existing. Okay, basically, okay. Dia, uh, now today, uh, kebanyakan eh, a few company dah buat exit exit policy, which is the exit process lah. Eh? Because to study, to to have the genuine data to HR to study about what is the problem. Because of turnover ni is very important. Okay. Eh? Uh, of course lah, okay. Uh, you will do an interview every time. Yeah, every month you do the interview for the same position. Yeah, HR is not only that you do the recruitment. You do you have a lot of things to work. You 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 do a lot of you 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 have your a lot of work eh, to settle and everything. Hmm? But this is how that you have at least your benchmark in order you to have the information and prepare. For the next interview, okay. At least, yeah, okay. The new staff join to your company, okay. They still they can maintain, eh? They can, um, still with your company lah. At least three or five years lah. Eh, alright. And then normally, to me, okay. Of course, eh, on the resignation process, HR normally have their. They are what we call is a step, method, eh? and then procedures. All right. So from this particular, okay, to me, eh, to me, my opinions, please settle it everything before the last day of the staff. Because of what my experience, if let's say you call back the staff to come, it's quite hard. Then they give the the lot of the reason, the thousand reason that they will give to us basically because. They don't more any bond to the the previous company, the last company. So they think they no issue that they want to come or not. But it is different that if let's say you call for the management position because they have your professional. I'm not say that I'm not say that the the lawyer is not professional. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's okay to come, but normally practice lah. Eh, uh, okay. The last is last. The new is instructor. Uh, all right. <clears throat> okay. Next, inability to cope with the this is staff. Eh? Sorry, this is spelling of staff competition. Okay, under staffing or hiring and excess number of employees. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. The adoption of poor and improper. Break technology. Yes. All right. Okay. Poor reputation among customer and other and other type of stakeholder. All right. Okay. Eh? Okay. Poor reputation among customer and other stakeholder. All right. So stakeholder and also board of directors. All right. Of, of course, eh, in the company that lead to the, what we call is, um, uh, I'm not saying that responsible, but need to uh, play the role as a stakeholder, especially on a board of directors, right? Because if, let's say, you study about CG, eh, corporate governance, and then if, let's say, you may refer to the MCCG, Malaysian Code of Corporate Governance, all right, a lot of the um, interactions between the stakeholder, board of director, and the company itself. Okay, including also senior management. If you talk about the performer management, eh, uh, this is very important of combination of success between the stakeholders, board of director, and also senior management. Okay, this is the what we call is definitely described on the MCCG. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, and then failure to meet the strategic goal set by the by a company. Okay, so failure to meet ni normally and yeah, they is uh, involved with the a few elements that eh? sometime uh sometimes the staff will not understand clearly about the goal about the benchmark about the 
performer about the target. And then the second time, maybe. There are a lot of the characteristic eh, failure to meet the strategic goal set by the company, basically. But a, a few things is uh, maybe the staff not have a uh, proper skills in order that to manage to handle and then uh, follow it by the success goal set by the company. There are a lot of character, basically. Then uh, implementation of unnecessary change of technology upgrade, right? Then sometimes um, uh, we need to work up every day, every time and every second in order us to put okay, the company in line on the success standard, basically. So by hope, by crook, basically, yeah, okay, so madam, we need to accept and follow the technology change basically rather than maybe we're not too familiar about the uh, apa, AI, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, okay. Uh, a lot of the uh, new system, eh? all right, a lot, lot of the uh, things, eh? all right, okay. Eligibility to take advantage of a various type of opportunities in the external environment. Okay. Please also understand of the external okay, environment, which is maybe we can relate between the stakeholder. Right. Okay. Uh, rather than um, performer management sometimes uh, in related to the stakeholder, but sometimes we need to uh, consider on top of the overall uh, eh, management, performance management. Stakeholder also uh, very important because uh, stakeholder is to the, uh, what we call it, group of the impact to the company, okay, to the success and perform. That is why, that is why, okay, uh, maybe I will share with you, maybe your company also doing like that, okay, uh, normally a company doing a two, three or four time or quarterly on top of have engagement with the stakeholder. Yeah, we have an engagement with the stakeholder because uh, sometimes a stakeholder okay uh, make a damage, disturb on the company to run everything. The third thing is why we need to consider, we need to have engagement, we need to have the, uh, what we call this, uh, cooperation with the stakeholder in order us to have, to maintain uh, our stability of the company in order that us to run, to develop their business. All right. Well, okay. Performance can assist organization in relation of the following benefits all right so we can see that all right okay assets management is asset assist of organization in the realized optimal value from its asset since it's promote effective management it's a different type of asset due to minimization of resource waste and and the application of the most sustainable framework and strategy of asset management to match an organization content. All right. <clears throat> okay, so madam. We always talk about the asset management. And then by right, a big company, I think a medium company, I think also a small company that they have their own of asset management. Why? Okay, rather than, okay, rather than, okay, uh, we look into the two big picture, basically class. Eh? One, we, we, we talk about the business. The, the part also very important. Eh? Uh, what, what, I, I, what I say or what I mentioned before. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we not look into the union, you know, uh, cooperative. Okay. We look into the company. Okay. Uh, business that we, we run the business. We develop the business, we expand the business, everything that. All right. Okay. Then uh we talk about asset management. Why why is it very important? Because asset management that the department, how you handle uh, uh whatever belongs to company in order you to use to maximum output. 
asset management also help their company to manage to develop the run the business basically and then and then also uh, maybe some sort of information maybe some of you very well about the asset management okay we need look into the very maximum output very maximum using okay in order that us to it's not only um our income come from business but at the same time also our income can it can come from the set management the the beautiful of manage to accept in the company okay all right next uh customer value it even it leave it okay the extent uh to which an institution can provide value to customers and the accessibility of such value by the client. Probably the asset uh, company in the promoting is reputation and the realization of customer loyalty. Okay. Very simple. Okay. Uh, information. Okay. Just only uh, one, uh, what we call is a one type of information that the someone okay i don't know who you who uh who there okay they buy the benza but after after three hours after seven hours that the benza is uh what we call is have a problem so just only one tip to update in the social media so you can see that eh? how significant that information go through basically so that is why that is why okay um now today technology that can accept can read or whatever lah, eh, within a second so that is why very important that we in the company manage of a customer's value that is why some that is why uh, you can see that eh, some of us maybe discuss about the uh, what we call after sale. Yeah, after sale. Maybe are you are familiar with after sale? Eh? After sale is very important. That to a uh, review. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you have your perspective, all right. But after sale is very important. That too, uh what we call is. Uh, review and then to have a feedback to the customer how's your product eh? how's the feedback your product is it the meet uh, the requirement and eh? the condition currently what your comment what things that to be upgrade and so on right okay now it's an organizational knowledge okay <clears throat> It exceeds an institution in evaluating its degree of organizational knowledge by positioning itself as a learning organization. Such exit in the acquisitions of different types of information that can be evaluated to assist in the enhancement of future performance. Organizational knowledge. All right. Okay. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Sometimes, uh, you be a listen with this statement that no need to have qualification if we want to plan to run the business. Some of them also talk about qualification is very important that in order us to have the knowledge to run the business. All right. So whatever that can set to this uh, information, communication or whatever, right? Knowledge is part of very important. Without knowledge that, uh, without knowledge that you are hard to run the business. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, basically, right? 
basically it it not enough if let's say we have only our uh, what we call is professionals and advanced uh, specialists on their business work okay between that also we need to have the management itself knowledge in order that to manage the uh, company basically so it's, it's good that to have a lot of knowledge a lot is, is meaning that it's not that whatever knowledge that you were you were yeah yeah maybe you can accept that but i mean it's not only that <coughs> okay you have your <coughs> what we call is knowledge eh? after finish uh, master one master you do the second master you do the third master you do the fourth master you do the fifth master uh -huh. eh? uh, for example like me lah eh? all right this is depend lah eh? this is depend how that you want to uh, manipulate okay your knowledge and so on Maybe um, uh, knowledge is not come from master, basically. It's come for your experience. It's come for your dealing. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it come from your presentations. It's all on, right? It's come for your class, short course, and so on. Benefit of performance management. All right. <clears throat> okay, for this performance of management, all right? Okay, alignment. Exhibit a close alignment with the context of organization, the situation of its culture. Also, it's a perfectly aligned with the strategy goals and long-term visions of the organization. Such the metric of measuring performance in each organization are determined by the milestone and success factor that are defined and organization strategy and the business and Corporate level, yes. Uh, align, alignment, alignment, eh? All right. So, of course, eh? Um, the alignment on the performance, on the goal, strategy goals, is very important to the company and work itself, basically. All right. So, that is why sometimes uh, company eh, need to uh, have a uh, the proper eh, frameworks that in order framework alignment alignment that in order that to a uh, to be a uh, to a success a uh, company right <clears throat> okay <clears throat> okay human resource and compensation performance management should be positively linked to the different aspect of human management in organization such component include uh, employee training yes Right, uh, so uh, we always talk about the TNA training need analysis. Why training need analysis very important? Huh? why yes. training need analysis be practiced in the department? All right, so we always talk about the TNA training. Need. How you pro you program your TNA basically? Are you using for TNA for your analysis in the department for your staff? How that you do your comparison between the TNA and then your dot job description, and then how that between the TNA job description, how you align between the latest technology, T is part of very important, eh, to make your staff still in the latest technology, right. <clears throat> And the succession strategy adopted by an organization. Yes. But then, nevertheless, it should be linked with the compensation strategy applied in the particular organization. All right. Okay. So, so why? Compensation is very important. We call uh, sometimes a big company or medium company, maybe a small company also have the compensation and benefit um, department or unit that. They focus to run, they focus to review, they focus to analysis about the combination and benefit. Why? Because it is important to make align to the staff in order that to study, understand about goal to the company. <coughs> 
Okay, like to the two could have your reaching implication of each one of them since it can cause to the on the negative feeling attitude among employee due to reward system adopted by the employee to the performer management as such a company should adopt separate strategy for re for reward appraiser and appraiser for development yes huh? okay so that's why sometimes we see eh? okay maybe maybe uh it's not to uh apa? uh 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 what we call is done by the private company eh? uh it's uh government uh, servant eh? government servant they have their what we call is apc yeah okay uh apc all right so maybe from this also uh if is that apc is very good how they are they are they are, they are what we call is significance to the combinations uh, that's what we need to review all right. For today is about opinions, all right? On that perspective, all right. Okay. So maybe yes, if you see that the statement that reward appraiser then appraiser for development, uh, So we need to look that because of, uh, sometimes you sometimes in human resource department we can we can look all this problem, all this issue, it just like that you hold only. We need to. We review. We need to um analyze back, discuss all these things. If let's say uh you will have your complaint from the staff regard with the compilation, right? You need to 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 what we call is to review, to receive the complaint, and then maybe you will look back. Rather than you need to have. The further action on the information complaint, or you will answer to the staff based of this condition that you need to do that conditions. So all these things, eh? all these things, okay, because of workers and combination need to be a what we call is um in line that, eh? in order to have that. Success department. <laughs> Continuity performance management is often received to be a continuous process. Then the carry out through the year and uh, through that the years and not a one time event. Yes, it's conducted at a particular point in the years. Yes, okay. Rather than that uh, class, we have our yearly planning, but it looks that. Yearly planning must definitely on continually planning, basically. It is good that you have this perspective rather than you are definitely changed every year on your planning. It's quite hard. It's quite hard if, let's say, the company every year change their planning. All right? So it is good that the company have a continuing process and improvement. That is much better. But it is depend. It is depend of your company. Maybe your company doing your rebranding and so on. All right. <clears throat> the three main activity associated with the process a carry out around this year. The year also is this continuous process consisting of activities such as a monitoring and the collection of feedback and time, the involvement of employee in the conducting of this activity, other such as the designing of performance management strategy, the implement and review. All right. <coughs> Flexibility. <clears throat> it it is a dynamic process that can respond to change with a great since the system apply therefore a design taking into the consideration the fact to model world environment is often characteristic characteristic by various type of rapid change okay flexibility is now today uh, to me is very important because uh, uh, we have our technology, okay. Uh, to have download, I mean, to have information, okay. Uh, uh, to do the works, 
Okay. Uh, what is important that you done, you settle your work. Alright. So that is why uh, sometimes flexibility in uh, performance management is also we need to consider strongly basically. Alright. Okay, and then training of managers is alliance is a significant level of emphasis of the importance of investing in the training of managers to promote their career development. Such training also critical to an organization since enhance the capacity of the category of employee to fulfill their coaching responsible to employee who work under their guard. Not only there is a base of the concept that their managerial roles of coaching is essential to the realization, realization of effective performance management in any business entity. Yeah, we talk about training manager because we focus about the performance management. But training also is it's not only important to the managers, it's important to all the staff. But then it's important to manager because the manager do a lot of work. Rather than specialists on that department, for example, department of engineering, that the manager also need have a skill of handle emotional, skill of manage their staff, skill to give the instruction, all these things that. Okay, right. Application of technologies. Technology to enhance the company ability to carry out activities such as uh, monitoring and acquisition of feedback. Also, technology assists the minimization of bureaucracy in the performance of management process, uh, promoting its uh, effectiveness. Technology is very important. We need to accept and study and need to familiar time to time. Now, the futuristic performance management can be termed by a futuristic Future-oriented process since its primary purpose is to ensure that the future of a particular organization is a characteristic by the improved performance in the comparison to the present. The evaluation system adopted, therefore, are designed to ensure that a business is able to generate the input then will exit in uh, enhancing the future performance, right? So, so part of that futuristic also very important, okay? Because of we plan. Involved with the work plan, we need to have the futuristic character, right? It's good that to a company in order that to have their very good performance management. Okay, participant three is participatory processing the required high level of cooperation between the employee in the position of management and their junior to promote a company capacity to address the development and performance needs of two categories employee. Okay, and then next control. It can be termed to be component of the control function of management sees type to comparison of a performance of a different type of employees. Case, particular type of standard of yardstick applied in organization. Notably, control does not imply this application on consists of the other similar method. Signing into the management, into doing what a major desire of them, but cooperation between the two parties, right? <laughs> yeah, of course, the control is very important. Okay. Without control, it's quite hard to manage. It's quite hard to handle. It's quite hard to success to the company. All right. Okay. Feedback method. All right. <clears throat> the realization of consistent performance in any institutions depend on the degree to which is adopted feedback system. They are the foolproof such. I see in the management and monitoring management performance, all right? And their participation in the process, promoting its effectiveness, such system should be available at the personal team and departmental level. Okay, self-management teams, 
All right, they assist in implementation, in elimination of performance gaps at the various level of an organization that can be defined as team, form and managed by employee to assist team them in keeping track on their performance. There were there are advantages since they are provide a safe environment where employee can openly discuss their strength and weakness without fear that such discussion may cause the management to have negative view of them. Also, they allow the employee to design strategy that they can be implement to assist them in realizing personal development. All right, okay, next. Leadership training. It is the responsibility of manager to identify, manage to exhibit leadership potential and take the time to exceed their is developing so that they can be rise to take a leadership position in future of the organization. Question. The approach advantages since evaluating employee to management position as the institution in realizing consistency in the performance since they are highly familiar with the culture and process. Again, the organization can be impact in the leadership qualities in desire to have in those who hold manager level, therefore. All right, so leadership training is very important. All right, because uh, this is the line uh, who's responsible to achieve the performance management. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, uh, evaluation is one of the most critical elements of the performance management. Start the assessment of the performance employee, individual group, and departmental level. This is a continuous process. is done through the application where this approach that has been developed through the application of scientific principles to guide and organization. This is evaluation. Evaluation very important. All right, to study, to review, to understand. All right, a whole this process. All right, okay, and then clarity. Performance management is supported by the percent of the clear, precise goal with organization and effective communication. Manager have to ensure that every manager has a perfect understanding of meaning of implication of the goal and how the individual input the organization will assist in the realizing team. Yes. Now, in the workers, especially manager, we need to clearly understand about the goal of company. Okay. It also can be against the process time, the subdivisions of the goals and translating them into similar unit. They are applicable at the departmental team and personal level. Okay, all right. Principle of effective performance. All right. Okay. First, transparency. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think you may be familiar with transparency. Maintain open, timely, honest communications by manager. Chose under the authority concerning the reward, compilation, performance assessment system applied in a specific organization. Managers are expected to supply the managing business self sufficient information about the decision that relate to each of these aspects. Failure to embrace experience can result in development of the view that organization does not. Practice equal equity into reward and compensation system amount employee. This is about the transparency. Okay. Values. Okay. All right. So the application different type of value in the organization setting allow an institution to show and practice try respect for different stakeholder and assist the organization to treat them a human being and not mean to the realization of this goal. All right. So this is about values. All right. So values is very important. Lah. Okay. Uh, transparency, you know, value. This is a normally a character that need to have for all workers. Basically. It's not only for the manager. Excellent environment, effective management of various factors found this environment to ensure that does not the effort made by manager in managing their process associated with the realization enhanced performance. 
So again. All right. Human resource development is an essential for manager and businesses in general to engage in the different type of activity that promote employee training and development. Also, they need to view employee as critical participant in various organization process and ensure that they are involved in decisions making. Okay, uh, this one human resource department, all right? Okay, activity to promote the realize and principles involved with the recognition, skill, talent process by employee, investing on the de development, the application, and effective uh, fair reward system. Okay, uh, managing a recognition, expecting the import applied by different employees in the full field of their responsibility, declaration, leadership role, responsible employee with respect, their ability. Right. Conducive. Okay. Uh, conducive work environment, the, manage, the management of any institution has responsibility of create and working environment that encourage individual therefore to engage in knowledge sharing, effective teamwork, okay. Effective conflict resolution and the sharing of experience while avoiding organization politics. Okay. Conducive work environment, eh? So, uh, the achievement of search of environment can only be done where the employee are informed about the goal or division they are achieving towards and framework and standard applied by the management in promoting their real life of effective performance and their personal of group level. So, uh, conducive work environment, all these things that, eh? All these things that important, all right? Okay, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Okay, performance uh, management process that consists three distance activity. Okay, first, planning employee development and performance. Right. Okay, it is the first step that is uh, initiate a beginning of year event through can be conducted at any other point in time. It involves the designing of contingent plan, the specific specification of tender, the framework to be applied in the management performance, the formulation of development and monitoring program, and the setting of goal among other activity. This is a planning employee development and performance. Then uh, second is a monitoring employee development. Okay, planning, after planning, uh, monitoring, eh? right? It's characterized by activities such as the evaluation of performance, the implementation of monitoring program, such can either be or of the job program. It is essential for those participating in them to be brief of various points of the program concerning their program. This, okay, first planning, second is monitoring, and then the last is annual stop talking. Sorry, annual stop taking eh? and annual activity that I'm at assessing whether the organization have achieved the plan and goal is specific as step one. However, this does not imply the organization will till end, till the end of the years to participate in this activity. More of them have numerous small activity, prayers and continuous stop taking to ensure that the one carrier at the end of the year is expected as possible. So this is three activity is process performance management, right? Okay, the step you can see that all right. Plan set expectation, train the develop, monitor, give back president document. All right, this summary. Okay. So we go to the chapter two before we start our class. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, chapter two: Performance management process, planning, and agreement. Eh. All right. <coughs> okay. Introductions. Performance management is a perpetual process conducted by manager, employee is a planning, coaching, and reviewer performance. Also involve the monitoring of employee performance, but 
this does not imply that manager should oversee every aspect of employee daily activity in the or micro manage yeah but only in children where the necessary for them they are previous previous uh, prevision of coaching employee in more effective approach to the agency them in uh, realizing improved performance in comparison and micromanaging. Also, it's essential for manager to understand the value of collaborating with employee in carry out of various activity associated with performance management. Okay, all right. So, of course, uh, performance management, we need to handle, we need to supervise, we need to look, we need to managing. But, okay, as a head of department, it's not the very... We go to very detail, but it's not go to the micro manage because of staff they have responsible their work. Meaning to say that, okay, based on job description, they know what should they be do and settle the works. Okay. <clears throat> Significant, significantly, performer man management can be termed uh, a perpetual process that should be conducted all year long. Not a particular instance in organization program is comprises three essential process, which is planning, coaching, after coaching, reviewing. All right. So the planning of the process can be termed as the first step. Therefore, even though there is not the clear distinctions between each of three steps, since they are often carried out concurrently, the step entails a set of activity that are carried out through the collaboration of manager and employee associated with due to following. This is the table 2.1. All right. Okay. Okay, table 2.1. Uh, activity that carry out through the collaboration manager employee, the planning plan. Okay. All right. Reviewing and then setting goal. All right. Okay, this part of that we discuss. Huh? I think we go through. All right. <coughs> activity basically review. What should we do? Basically, on the uh, on the review. Uh activities that first. The two parties conduct a review of the properties of a particular job a title to assist the individual holding in the enhancing their comprehension, comprehensions of work ex expected of them and if their current responsibility or duty are in alignment with the job description. Review. We need to review. After review, then we align. Alignment. There are two party carrier of analysis of the degrees to with the job description, responsibility, and work plan and align with the individual and organization goals and vision. And then that a setting goal. <coughs> In tied to formulation of the goals that a particular employee will be expected accomplish within a specific period as contribution to the realization of departmental and institution goals. This is critical for manager to ensure that each of the employees involved in the planning process sets smart goal. They are time bound. The same approach should be applied in the setting of personal goals to enhance their realization of career development. Setting a goal and then that is a strategy. Okay, strategic right revision existing work plan held by specific employee to promote. Okay, with the goal and their department and organization again their selection of the standard will be applied assessing the future performance of employee in question and the delivery balls. They they will be expected to achieve within a specific timeline. Okay, right, class. The formulation of standard is essential to the realization of goal, since it assists the employee in understanding how we the try that are required to carry out the duty and tasks associated with their job. Okay, all right. And then principles they can be applied ensure. That effective standards are selected include quality, timeliness, time, and manner, and quantities. 
Alright, the setting of standard also can be applied, promote the effectiveness of other process that affect performer winning and organization include recruitment and hiring. <coughs> Identification as key area, it involves the outline, uh, outlining eh, of the most important aspect of a particular job that that person holding a show mainly focus on. This is determined through the analysis of the significance of job in question in relation to the goal, have a different level of the institution in question. Further, it should entire consideration of employee career development goal. Identify a key area. All right. So, of course, eh, um, we need to identify the key areas on the performance management. This part of very important then. But I think this is uh, the, the very good eh, uh, process of planning, basically. Okay. Uh, setting a training objective. Next, to the party, identify type of career and personal training that the employee need to design a strategy that will be exit time in meeting that need to within a particular timeline. Career development objective, the manager should also exit the employee in questions in formulating their long-term long career objective and is identify the most suitable part that can be utilized in assisting the employee to realize their goal within the short-term Time and post social time possible. Okay, and then definition of behaviors in the time the definition acceptable and forbidden behavior that manager management associated with the world environment. There are various type of behavior that should be highlighted at this, this stage. Such include the type of behavior to be evaluated with assessing whether an employee has met the standard of performance designer at the stage. Those associated work with in the team, setting leadership action and normally behavior in the daily work environment. Okay, so this is a performance management process, for example. All right, prerequisitions, performance planning, performance executions, performance assessment, performance review, and performance review and recontracting. So the process is continuous. All right. Okay, coaching. <coughs> coaching can be defined, a process, identify addressing issue that related to the performance of FAE on a regular basis. Okay. As such, related to the monitoring of FAE performance, but does not entitle to the macro management of the world environment, just like planning. It's a characteristic characteristized by collaboration between the managers and their managers to carry out the following activity. All right, figures 2.2. Okay, activity carry out in the coaching planning. First, performance assessment. The two particular assist the degree of progress that have been made concerning to the realization of specific deliverables. All right. Barriers identification. Involve the identification of specific challenging of issue that may be to employ you from realizing individual and departmental goals and the formulation of plan that can exist in the solution of this issue. All right. <clears throat> Next is previsions of feedbacks, tools, parties, great to share information their progress with respect to specific issue they were identified before their meeting. Okay, identification of change involves the identification of significant change of the impact the world environment. They may have any form of impl or implication of the realization of organization goal. Further, it involves the obviously the plan that the institution will slide the addressing the identif identified change. Extra support. Okay. Uh, consideration of whether there is need for the management to provide additional help. And parties can be provided to the employee to assist them addressing various issues relating to the performance. All right. So this is activity career of process coaching. All right. <clears throat> 
Excuse me. Okay, next feedback can be defined as a specific information originating from an employer to one or more employees seeking to provide attention about how behavior exhibited by the letter impact and organization. Type of feedback found the work environment include. All right, so this is a normal practice, eh? feedback, all right? Okay, so we can see that first is positive feedback. It's a design to assist employee is understanding their good performance has been not appreciated by the management. Ah, eh? This one, if you resist that, they will be very happy. Lah, eh? This form of feedback should be timely, highly specific, it should be provided regularly since it can exceed evaluating the level motivation found in the world. Okay, but sometimes positive feedback, some of the company not do the positive feedback. Some, eh? I'm not say all, eh? All right, but I think we need to do it. It's it just only the letter that, but it's very significant to the staff basically. They will help in the performance basically, and then positive feedback. Sometimes you can have some something to 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 give, um, uh, whatever that, and maybe I think uh, HR need to uh, review that. What is the best that? Huh? Maybe some sort of thing that you give, or maybe some sort of increment of salary, you know, or some things that extra bonus, so on, anything that because, uh, because it's some things that eh, uh, stuff is something um. You need to have their motivate to do the job for the company, basically. So this that is why motivate is part of very important, yeah, to the staff in order that to do well and then until that the climate feelings that the staff have be feels the belonging to the company okay constructive feedback information that arm to existing employee in understanding the area of the performance the employee expect to the improve on this is designed to exceed them with understanding their shortcoming with respect to specific performance standard <laughs> significantly such information should be factual descriptive and detailed additionally it should be focused on specific aspect on one duty and behavior not an attack on their personality this is very important eh? okay all right okay next all right strategy can apply to improve the quality and effectiveness of feedback provided. Employee include preparation, critical them to plan, when, how, where they are going to give feedback, preparation, making decision about factor, about the specific issue that they plan to provide feedback about. The strategy are going to apply in delivery it and the tone they plan to apply when communicating with managers. The question also, also one should consider the most appropriate location for feedback, meeting and time providing feedback. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, also, okay, uh, timelines. The value of feedback provided the employee is determined by the degree of timeless associated with it. Manager who delay is provision harm to perform the employee in question, such the limit to infectiveness as such, or should ensure that it's provided on time where the issue being addressed are still relevant. Application effects. Okay, <clears throat> maintenance of objective in the previous previsions of feedback determine how it's been received. Ability should be focused on talking about factual information that is directly related to issue that employee are concerned about it. Okay, again, they should be focus of elimination information associated with the perception and personal judge that can result imagine a barrier between them to so the feedback and. Then the application fact, just focus, discuss on that. It's not talk or back of perceptions or anything without any concern on judge. Okay. 
listening. Given the fact employee offer explanation about specific issue of concern. For illustration, one can be asked to explain the factor and reasoning behind particular action. Again, it's involved given employee to opportunity that express their feeling about the feedback being provided by raising concern. Nevertheless, it's doing implying the imagine manager should be tolerate expansion they are associated with blame, blame and then deny of responsibility in order to listen to a way of show, showing empathy that make easier for employee to accept feedback whether even when it's not favorable then. Right. Then collaboration to divide a plan, provide receiver feedback we together we formulate a plan outline of, of the courses of action they will take as the progress into their future all right okay all right review performance and recontracting all right <coughs> okay <coughs> okay review performance and recontracting the finals of the performance management stage you know? Uh, process and entire present employee performer the process of conducting a hard work basically where company set out the period should be before the process conducting when the time to conduct is right the major employee take the time evaluate summarize and make comment around their performance right strategy apply in the complete completion of the process include right <laughs> okay <laughs> self assessment employee take the opportunity to review the performance plan made in initial stage of the performance management process compare that that which what they have been able to accomplish they given that the realistic view concerns need how to have been performed during a specific review period Critically, self assessment is important that many things is can exceed identification of performing get among the particular employee. Okay, so they have a they have a thing, they have a tree, yeah. Yes. Firstly, apply for completing or process. Self-assessment. We still do the self-assessment because some part of the uh, things that the individuals personally know about their get basically. Self-assessment is important that we need to look is we need to look and we need we we want to reduce the gap basically eh? all right assessment by managers uh, performed by their managers the letter re release on the performance notes record material specific period to assist them in determining how particular employee are faring on such a record not exceed that in preparing a summary about the performance to challenges of a, and barriers faced during the period in question and possible way of the addressing such problem. Others, all right, okay, uh, found into work environment such a carry out be peers. This can be conducted in team of group setting again. The form assessment can be acquired from the customer. This can be achieved by requesting customer to provide feedback about the quality survey that can be received from the particular employee. This is a critical such it since it assists this company capturing respecting of client with respect to the quality of the performance of its employee. Right. Okay. Yeah. Furthermore. The process involves the analysis performance which is determine whether it had a positive or negative implementation of the progress, sorry, of the manager. Significantly, the assessment method mentioned about might be applied in the process. The manager are given an opportunity to opportunity to assess themselves, let's say by the peers of the individual who told leadership policy with organization in question. Perform review. Normally conducted with team department organization conduct a presentation to meet the exit the analysis from their period which past present and futures right so what is beneath the past participant look into the past with the aim to determining the implementation of behavior employee on the organizations overall performance and then accomplishment that have been made at the personal team and departmental level. Then, 
after review the path, the step then to determine how the performance achieved in the past will be daily with the present through the application reward and other form competition to show operations to the effective manager. Features, formulation new strategy that we apply within a specific period in the future, I see aggressions, or a new levels performance, which can be involved in setting a new goals of uh, the application of new development framework Okay, and detected by the organization present for that. For that, all right. Okay. <clears throat> all right, managers need to realize that there are various types of priors that may impede to effectiveness to review process since acknowledging they can exist in avoiding them. Such are commonly referred to writer biases associated with the very mental factor associated with the Individual carry out the review, such may be include hollow eh? type of bias that may input to the effective for review. Occur with a particular employee assigned an unfair high rating due to the fact the rater hold a positive attitude and perception of them. Same as me, a form of bias to causes on the got a better rating assessment to individuals that uh, perceive to be similar to them with the respect to issue with candles, race, authenticity, amount of similar factors. Center of tendency, center of tendency of form, bias that imagine when a particular writer chooses to assign the individual being assessed, point mark, they are close to be my point of writer standard only. Once occur with particular employee sign unfairly low rating due to the fact that the rater hold a negative attitude or the perception of them. It lead necessity bias occur with the rater does not maintain consistency in the rating process. It then some of the people be rated rate and up the expressing a more strict and length. Length rating may also occur with difference, manager adopt difference, level for strictness in the rating process. So class D is the, uh, what we call it, supplier effective for review process. All right. Okay, and then the lastly, <clears throat> the completion of performer review process is followed by the formation of new agreement between the affected employee and their manager of or employer. Such, okay, may tie to the formation, a new agreement between the two parties or the renewal or revision of their existing one. Notably, the process is similar to the planning, perhaps, since it marks the beginning of that cycle in the performer management process. Significantly, the formulation of agreement between the two parties released on the information acquired from the previous cycle and are ensuring that the degree of performance accepted with next cycle is better than realized during the preceding one. Right. Okay, so this is about the chapter one and chapter two. Right? Chapter one is involved the introductions to the performance management. Chapter two is more or less planning of performance management. All right. So I think we start off our chapter two. We say, okay, we finished our chapter two already. Maybe more or less, you can go through lah for the any reference article journal based your experience, All right? So performer management chap chapter two, more on the performer management process, understanding all the process, including the staff, environment, manager, senior management, you know, board of directors, shareholder, and involved with any issue on the step method, every angle step in order that to develop the planning and also agreement. All right. So I think I'll stop class for a while. Okay, I think we continue for next class for the chapter three and chapter four. And then Bara, I will update to you the three first assessment that SAQ, uh, term paper, and then case study as soon as possible in group and also in Europe. So you can answer in Europe. Lah. And then what that I mentioned. Lah. All right. So I think that's all. Okay, thank you.